there you have a module for conducting exam yes so it was given that it either it should be subjective or um, mcq no, no. type it, it can be subjective or descriptive huh. or this one so it is not no rules like uh, it should be only subjective or descriptive yes if i'm giving like completely give... all three yeah subjective descriptive and objective where objective will comes with your one subjective will be with your two mark question some definition and stuff and descriptive will be a five mark question because first we have not solved any problems like and everything will be application oriented so can you give an example like uh, what kind of a questions it will be okay one moment are this got closed fine uh, uh it will not be like uh, Uh, if it is going to be a, a subjective question, maybe like for one mark, I'm giving a subjective question uh, rather than objective. I'll be asking something like, uh, uh, which part of whose role is the uh, in whose role the management should consequently attempt to maintain good relationship with the worker and provide a good working environment? Who is responsible for this? for maintaining good relationship worker and providing a good working environment who is responsible management mm -hmm. yeah something like that will be like once you understand things it will not be that tough to answer but uh, you are someone who always bunk the class and just at the end read something and write obviously you may not be able to write but of course descriptive like i'll give something on practical oriented uh, comment on the statement of like uh, maybe like I'll, i'll just give some more example maybe this flow chart i cannot change anything but what i ask is like i'll ask you to design the flow chart of reducing the ineffective time with respect to some industry or service sector so roll number odd number will be writing for something even number will be writing for something or 1 to 10 will be writing for something 10 to 15 will be writing for something, something like that so if you are going to consider what is the basic work content i'll be asking like what are the basic work content in manufacturing this particular component which cannot be avoided so everything will be mostly application oriented and few this uh, subjective can be direct questions what is what so rest will be like everything will be based on your understanding if you have attend like i don't think this is tough as other subject because whatever we have everything is that simple right yes or no yes sir yes sir so if you understand things you will be scoring this subject is not for someone who write exam overnight all right any other doubt in that sir so what it can be lengthy to do it in 30 minutes Uh, it's only na no? i'll say that maybe you would have got uh, uh, feedback from your seniors no i was handling for you last time right no 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 for this is for uh, triple e okay it will be quite lengthy because i just want to differentiate between people those who are studied and those who are copying all the contents are available in youtube like uh, all the contents are available online so you can just search it and write so it will be quite lengthy 30 minutes 30 marks in the sense if you are continuously writing you can exactly complete at 27 or 28 minutes if not if you are referring something and writing it will take 40 45 minutes if you are going to copy it it will take one hour even if you are answering you know the answer if you are answering to the point you can answer within 25 to 27 minutes okay sir any other doubts on that so you said something about the portal what yeah. is that you have erp na no? your er, uh, online portal for your uh, this one uh, register student registration everything there you have a module for examination sir do we have to register something for that we haven't used no, it no, no. so you have you are uh, number you have paid your fees and you have registered your course right yes sir 
mm, then you will get it directly it will be directly assigned to you i'll i'll conduct a mock maybe like 27 when the exam starts fourth right i mean next week next monday next monday okay this friday we have class na no? on friday uh, we'll have only on mock maybe first unit only i'm going to have i'll be completing by today uh economics alone i have to complete i'll complete it today then i'll start with second unit so next two classes i'll give introduction about second unit so finally on friday we'll have a mock exam how the exam will be and uh, general discussion on what is discussed in first unit okay sir because again uh, the subjective and subjective if i go for uh, this particular thing a uh, google form again everyone will copy i don't know, what's the use will be there so it's a exam should be like an exam right fine <laughs> don't think too much like <laughs> if you study it will be easy if not it will be bit tough sir which book you are using as a reference i have around 4 5 books and mostly opi karna this one and uh, this book is from this is okay yaman pali ki chatarji sk mukherji it's it's something like it is i'm i'm teaching you only completely on indian adaptation whatever the international thing what we have i'm just transferring it to what are the culture we have in indian method so it's about uh, introduction to work study completely where this topic covers only work study where your method study and uh, work measurement so in this uh, introduction was from uh, this opic uh, opic analysis there then uh, um industrial engineering by uh, local two three authors are there so i have referred all three for first unit second unit and third unit will be completely based on this indian adaptation well, i think before that you will come back to campus before your final exam so that time we have right now like it is just first unit is introduction no? so whatever is thought in class that is more than enough i'm i'll not take question directly from any book any more queries i have just 20 minutes left shall we discuss maybe in next class because i will just make a move and complete this okay start All right i'll just proceed if you have any doubt you can stop me at any time ah uh, this this yeah ergonomics what is ergonomics you studied what is human factor is now it is about ergonomics now you can have a clear understanding between or the difference between what is ergonomics and what is human factor ergonomics any idea in area what is ergonomics is all right in simple yeah yeah this is the comfort of worker for efficiency of company it deals with the comfort of worker mm comfort of worker for efficiency of the company to increase the efficiency to increase the efficiency cool then working environment working environment yeah that comes with the comfort of worker to increase the efficiency working in okay working environment also can be listed separately working environment okay then this is sub category of this then 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 then, then. cost effectiveness to the workers cost effectiveness matlab what do you mean by that cost effectiveness more more output with the less money input no, that one comes with economics economics is completely different it's not about profit or this one 
incentive to the workers no it's not about incentive or providing any assistance no economics is not going to deal with that then it's a, a uh, human health of the workers health of the workers yeah this can be considered then what 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 you are saying no arbina you are saying so like this like for mining people hmm. there are safety hazards for cleaning and all hmm that is like a health hazard that should be treated uh, you know okay हैंडलिंग no it's not about raw material then it uh, it establishes the relationship between people and uh, their uh, working environment uh, to enhance the performance okay relationship or the uh, things between uh, it is something which is going to deal between the human or human factor with the working environment so that one minute Sir, I'm in class. Call me back. Dinesh, where are you? Class, class, class. I'll call you back. Okay, after class you call me. Yeah. For that project we. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll call you after the class. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. So, working environment. Ah, uh, sorry. Ah, uh, economics is only thing which is going to deal with the human factor and the working environment to make the human more comfortable in order to. make the work in a more efficient way in other word it can also called as engineering the human factor in a sophisticated way to have improved work efficiency so this ergonomics is not going to deal with any other aspect other than it is going to just coordinate uh, between the environment and the worker the employee who is doing some work and the environment in which he is working uh, you are going to remove all the hazardness or discomfort which the environment is going to impart or impact on the human uh who is working on that particular area right it can be either with the machine or with the pollution like noise whatever is happening or with the uh, heavy heat which is going to be eliminated or smoke which is going to be eliminated with the company or uh, the uh, posture like uh, how it is going to be operated or uh, the arrangement of system like how the uh, machinery should be arranged so that he is not having more fatigue over a period of time or again the comfortness the worker feel with a uh, period of time it is like it, this ergonomics alone defines how the working time is to be scheduled what is the maximum utilization of the maximum effectiveness of the worker uh, so that he will not feel fatigue to carry out the work on the next day that's why this 8 hour shift 8 uh, hour working time and there is a break in between there is a lunch break in between and there is again a break in between because you cannot mostly concentrate continuously more than 2 hours for a period of uh, time for a continuous job so that is how this ergonomics is this ergonomics is completely going to deal only with the humans and the working environment to make the working environment more comfortable to improve the efficiency of the worker by keeping them in a comfort zone so that they are not feeling fatigue very soon by improving the our complete working architecture so that they are feeling comfortable with that in other word like it is generally defined as uh, ergonomics is a uh, inter disciplinary domain that provides 
tools and techniques which can usefully integrate working condition vector element with the physical characteristics and psychological capabilities so you will have ergonomics in every aspect if you go to design you will have ergonomics if you go to raw material handling of the raw material you will have ergonomics uh, uh, for a simple example uh, ergonomics design or something where you have a load man earlier they were lifting everything in head and moving on later there was a knob which was putting over and taking it off so uh, recently if you are in kashmir uh, you would have known about uh, an innovator who invented a, a cylinder carrying machine cylinder gas cylinder carrying machine anyone from kashmir kashmir valley no cool there was an innovation from a uh, local innovator who introduced i mean who introduced the world uh, to uh, avoid the fatigue of carrying this gas cylinder he introduced a small machine which makes you more comfortable uh, to I mean take over the uh, cylinder or or a distance of time because like uh, in uh, even we have gas cylinder in uh, rural areas where you cannot have proper transit like uh, where they will keep your uh, uh, the vehicle at one part from there you have to lift the cylinder to your house so in order to avoid all those he has introduced something for a better being so this ergonomics is going to deal with every aspects which is going to reduce the human effort and making them comfort so that the fatigue is completely avoided that's why it is called as interdisciplinary domain where any domain it can be related that provides certain tools and techniques which can be usefully integrated with the working condition of the vector element that is what i was saying about this chair complete ergonomics of this chair if you see in this particular thing earlier the chairs were very flat but now this ergonomics design this is completely giving you a posture where your spine is to be bent in such a portion so that over a period of time you are not feeling fatigue and this is kept because this is kept something movable because whenever you are relaxing your neck muscle should have some comfortable position where you have this particular thing right whenever you travel you have the uh, neck clamp something like that so that uh, your neck is not resting completely this is not resting and uh, it's not getting sprained so this particular design is completely based on ergonomics where other chairs you will have this flat portion to be over like this like but this is completely adjustable based on the person who are sitting if i am comfortable with this okay i can go with this if i am comfortable with this i can go with that so this particular design of making each and every component so that the worker is completely into the system without having any fatigue he can work for hours together that particular characteristics and both physical characteristic as well as psychological capability what is the psychological capability over here is uh, when you have something uh, which you feel like uh, uh, maybe like cutting a big tree with a small knife uh, if you uh, have the small knife uh, and say that uh, i'm going to cut a huge tree which is of around 1 meter surrounding this is psychologically which is not going to happen and you even if the machine is capable you will have the uh, even the, the machine is capable of making it like if you keep on cutting it will cut obviously but you have the psychological capability like oh this will not work with this because that's a victory and this is a small machine which is not going to happen and other example for the psychological thing is when you have some certain work uh, when you are into uh, doing a particular job uh, there is something i'll uh, relate with this casting technology you know about glass wool glass wool 
white color all thing glass wool anyone heard about it glass wool so about what glass wool glass wool yes sir yeah so what is the uh, characteristic of that sir it traps heat it doesn't allow the heat to escape or enter it's an insulator simply right yes sir so what they do in uh, casting company is uh, the molten metal uh, due to the uh, reaction with the environment that will be blasting out from the furnace like that will be blasting out due to the interruption of the oxidation will happen there will be some uh, crack like uh, some sparking which is happening so that will obviously scatter and people around will be getting affected so in order to avoid that what they do is uh, there will be a psychology i mean uh, there will be a, a glass wool which completely in the sense completely uh, insulate the heat even beneath this portion i am not speaking about too many big uh, transfer it at this particular condition if you have a molten metal of around 1500 or 1800 degrees celsius there will be a glass wool of this particular layer over which you will not feel any heat where you can touch the top of the glass wool you will not have any feel any heat because it acts like the complete insulator but still people have this mentality like uh, i how because this is 1800 degree this is a small piece it looks like a paper and uh, obviously it will answer so they will not be uh, ready to uh, touch it and see what is happening because it is 1800 degree it is not 100 or 200 degree where at least you will make some burns it is 1800 degree once you keep completely your finger will be melted it will not burn it will melt off once you leave it will completely like what you see in hollywood movie it will be completely melted you will not have anything over there at 1800 degrees it's not even your bone so in that condition we have a psychological things where this is possible or not so in certain condition we have too many steps okay when you are going to do work when you are being assigned with some task uh, on seeing some steps you will say okay mentally you will be prepared okay this is possible i can lift when you see a rock on seeing the size you will see okay this is my size i can lift if you see something bigger you will not try to attempt it because your psychologically you will be uh, having a mindset you are not capable of making that particular task happen so integrating all this aspect both your physical and psychological uh, capabilities to ease your work without having much fatigue in your uh, body though that is what is all about your uh, ergonomics is this completely uh, describe like completely depends on uh, developing that is development of most comfortable working condition six minutes yeah working condition in terms of illumination climate condition noise level which ensures minimization of physical workload to improve work pressure sorry work posture as well as to reduce the effort of certain movement certain movements so this is the function of ergonomics this is the definition or uh the uh 
scope like uh, this is the definition or actual content of context of ergonomics and this is the function or scope of economics like why, why economics is actually done what is the objective scope or the function of economics so it is actually an interdisciplinary tool or technique that is used to uh, maintain a good and uh, working environment by interrelating the uh, different uh, vector element to carry out the specific things based on your physical characteristics and psychological capability and this is mainly done the main scope of this is to comfort the working condition in terms of elimination like what are the elimination you have with the particular task or climatic condition or national level that reduces the physical workload because when you are put into maximum noise you may not be you will feel headache very soon and you will not be comfortable in doing the work properly that's why when you go to missionaries everyone will have some earbuds like uh, orange color if you have gone to any industry you would have seen everyone will have a tag with the earbud whenever they are going into that they will completely put that because the house sound will be too huge you will be getting stressed very easily so this is mainly to improve the work pressure as well as the reduce the effect of certain moments like whatever is happening with the condition so this is the basic condi- mean uh, concern of ergonomics what is ergonomics and where it is being applicable any doubt with this no sir. no sir so uh, different things will be uh, basically based on like i'll just say uh, this like uh, there is some flow chart diagram i'll share with that and uh, the basic things of ergonomics is that started with display where what are the visual you have how the monitor should be how the camera should be kept how uh, they when you are going to operate an engine how the or uh, operating engine should be fit like uh, how it is going to be make the worker more comfortable so that they are not feeling fatigue in that particular condition uh, based on display the first ergonomic things is based on uh, display type or types of display second one is scale pattern I'll, I'll share all the diagrams with you. Third one is type. What is this scale pattern you would have known? Like what are the different types of scale available? This one, this one, this one, all this. Same way dial pattern is how the dial indicator is going to be. How it is going to be degree or this one. All those comes with your dial pattern. Then display system. I'll share all the diagrams with you. Display stereotypes. What are the different stereotypes of display available? So with this, ergonomics is classified based on the design, whatever you have. Uh, based on design, the ergonomics conditions are classified into types of display, scale pattern, dial pattern, and display stereotypes. and uh, when you go for ergonomics design uh, based on controls ergonomics based on controls design controls i'll i'll just share all this stuff with you it is first types of control what is being used and second is criteria for control position so whether uh, the criteria should be high or low uh, if the control is to have maximum efficiency what is the it should, it should be high or low you my my main time marker at once i'll just complete this then identification of control controls right so this is based on control so what is the, the second point uh, criteria for control position that is like uh, whether if you go for some particular thing uh, temperature is a control in our body where 98.4 degree is the control limit if it is going beyond it is or going less it is should be out of control so whether it should be medium high or low like your bp 80 to 120 it should be the normal range so if it is less it is low it is more it is high if it is minimal within the range it is normal so based on that control position it comes into picture and uh, finally optimal use of 
physical effort so this is based on two aspects aspects of weight distribution i'll explain everything's diagram maybe i'll take one more class i think i cannot complete it distribution and second one is lifting and carrying methods so these are the different aspects of ergonomics i'll just take tomorrow's class like what is the detailed knowledge about this and how the work scheduling is happening i thought like i should have completed fine no problem can you doubt